Hey everyone, welcome to Change Starts With Us. As we, as some of you know, the ODRC is planning on making some changes regarding the pro board and so forth. One is taking out nature of offense. That is very important and very vital for our friends to have a chance and get released. Another thing that I'm not really happy about is one thing that talk about discussing is to not help with the housing anymore um, and any pre-release um, release uh, uh, things that need to be done for a successful transition to society. It seems to me that the DRC is planning on uh, pushing some of these people to reoffend. If you don't give them a strong strategy for re-entering society, you know, they, they just don't have much of a chance. One thing you're not gonna, they're not gonna be looking at, according to what they're talking about, is uh, family support. We know that family support is very important for us to get, you know, for these people um, to have someone that they can fall on. Um, a support team is great, and you need it. I've always told men, you know, and women as well, but men should have five men on their support team, including their parents, as long as they're not using addicts. Same thing with women, but there should be five women, you know, on their support team. It seems to me our system sometimes is just set up for failure. And when we set people up for failure, we're not going to give them a chance for much. And it, it's not right that um, we set people up for failure and the DRC is doing the same. It's all about cutting the money, you know, but they're sure wasting the taxpayers' money, 35000 or so a year for the old law inmates themselves. Um, we need to buckle down. We need to explain to the DRC why it is so important for these people to um, have a support team and have a great transitional place and have housing uh, set for them before their release without uh, delaying their release. Um, they, they got case managers that have the time to do it. Believe me, I know I was locked up for many years and I see the case managers just sit in the office playing computer games. So it, you know, we're not really um, asking for too much. You know, we're hoping in the next year that we see some of our friends that deserve to be released home. Um, I could name several people that, that should be home by now. You know, especially those that had 10 to life, 15 to life, even 20 to life, and now the 35th, 40th year. How is that fair, and how is that to justify their crime? Um, I understand it, it's a, some of them have life, most of them have life sentences, but it used to be that life sentences were at 25 years, not um, full life like it is today. It's, it's just really, really not being productive in any case or helping anything out. Uh, we're we're going to really need to work so that these people do get out, but at the same time, they have the support team that they need. So I'm encouraging people, along with Change Starts With Us, to work on helping with support teams for these folks. Um, we'll find out who is going home and you know throughout the state and where they're going to go, and let's see if we can find a support team for these people. We also need uh, personal hy hygiene um, items donated, uh, body wash, razors, shaving lotion, soap, hair, I mean shampoo, conditioner, women's items, and whatever else you could think of. And uh, you could either drop it off at my house, you could mail it, um, or give us a call at 614-404-4924. Our address, though, is 1141 Oakwood Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43206. And 
We need as much as you can donate financially as well, and the money will be put to good use. It's, it's going to help with our mission of wrongful convictions and educating society on parole and prison reform. <coughs> For that, you need to buy ink, you need to um, um, stamps, <coughs> excuse me, paper, postage, gas for meetings throughout the state. So there's just a lot of expenses that take place. And as we are starting off, for most of you know that I started fair treatment reform and reentry, uh, I don't know, I think it was 2015 and or 2014, one of those years. And it, we had a successful run and it was time to break off and start change starts with us where we can still group people together and, and network. And that's what I'm so excited about this Saturday coming up at um, um, the United Methodist Church for All People, um, uh, you know, on Parsons Avenue from um, 1 to 3.30 upstairs. You take, when you come in, you take the elevator upstairs. And um, we'll just greet people talk about our causes, recruit people, and see how we can work together on some of the issues that we really need to. Um, we're not going to give up, but if we want change to take place, what do we have to do? We have to work together. Folks, um, our email address is changebeginswithus, for sure, at gmail.com. Again, that is Change begins with us for sure at gmail.com. Our phone number is 614-404-4924. If you'd like to uh, uh, donate personal hygiene items, postage stamps, financial uh, contributions, you could do it by mailing it, or you could uh, do it through uh, PayPal, which is under my name, um, James Cronenberger. Uh, until we get, we're working on getting our 501c3, but this part of this money would be used for that. But you could go to our um, PayPal, which is James Cronenberger, or you can mail uh, postage stamps, personal hygiene items to our office, which is 1141 Oakwood Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43206. Again, that is 1141 Oakwood Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43206. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.